All right, GM everyone, happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day so far. Uh, this is once again another amazing Friday. I'm not sure about the October that everybody is talking about because I uh, haven't really felt anything like that at all. But in any case, you know, it's still a beautiful Friday. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Uh, whatever that just happened in the Town Hall Tech Chat chat is uh not true unless uh moon Settler choose to be a very 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 generous monkey and uh, he decides to give us all free bananas which i will not actually mind at all since i actually typed that as well now just aside uh without further delay let's get started to monkey business this week uh and i have so much excitement that uh some things i can share but most of the things i can't share which really sucks because uh Every week, uh, you know, a few of us, we are locked into a room and uh, we're discussing about everything. And uh, sometimes everything that we talked about uh, is just so hard because uh, it's things that we're excited about. But then for whatsoever reason, you know, we don't want to come out and do an announcement of an announcement of an announcement. So just bear with us. But, uh, you know, we are literally so excited. And uh, I think... Conan continues to be the biggest monkey bull out there on the timeline. Shout out to Conan. I think he's at Super Team Dubai. He probably won't hear this, but a big shout out to him. Um, he literally made a, a, a post that says the best time to be a monkey, you know, or, or to, to buy a monkey is August 2021. And I can't, and I, and I couldn't agree more. Um, and I just had to, you know, basically do the typical engagement farming copy pasta of the best time to be a monkey is August 2021, quite literally. I mean, obviously, when else, right? But the second best time is literally right now. So if you are in the town hall right now, you are almost definitely going to make it. That's the wish. And uh, we are going to make it come true let it go i will feel better and i'm pretty sure i will feel that way but unfortunately i'm not sure about that yes how many announcements of an announcement are we going to have until q2 2025 so see if i remember our discussions correctly it should be q1 2025 stroke can confirm is if q1 2025 is correct well anyway we're getting really distracted as promised uh, let's dive right into the Town Hall agenda item that we have. Uh, once again, if you are new to Monkey Dao, welcome to the family. And if you're uh, attending Town Hall very, for the very first time and you're wondering what exactly are this bunch of uh, monkeys doing on uh, Discord on uh, late Friday evening or morning, mo early morning, wherever you are, uh, this is the weekly Monkey Dao Town Hall where we run through some of the latest updates as well as uh, try to get the opportunity to welcome new monkeys uh, where possible all right uh so the 139 edition of the banana speed this week featured some of our amazing monkeys whoever said monkeys are dead or nfts are dead please raise up your hand now so that we can give you a big kick in the ass and uh possibly send you out of this discord right now uh if you look at the banana speed 139 i have lost count of the number of monkeys and i have been told that this is not everyone that is in town there are still a couple of folks that are in town that uh couldn't attend but this is just insane um shout out to moon and Cersei as well for being there helping to anchor everything uh bring you know fellow monkeys together but hey island down monkeys you guys are amazing thank you for showing up in numbers you know whatever that they say monkey Dao is the premier web3 country club and uh, things like that you know continue to reinforce that point uh so yeah, hope you guys had a great time. I know, you know, Island Dow is still happening and a lot of folks are still having a lot of fun. Uh, and as Simon just pointed out, everyone, please welcome Meta Matt, a new Toronto-based monkey. Welcome to the family. All right, so without further delay, we're going to continue with the rest of the uh, content that we put out for the Banana Split 139th edition. Uh, moving on is the Town Hall TLDR. Um, if you are exactly kind of like wondering what exactly is the, sorry, the Town Hall TLDR, I think there's a little bit of a, you know, misspelling here, or rather the error in terms of the date being reflected. But in any case, uh, you know, this was last week's one. Um, feel free to go check it out of course uh the best case scenario is if you can come in and 
experience the true monkey business vibes for yourself live on monkey dow's town hall weekly every friday 12 p.m est without fail we will be here unless this is like a very special occasion or like a new year's eve or something like that we will always be here all right of course if for whatsoever reason you know your dog you know ate your computer your cat ate your pc your laptop was uh, stolen by the birds next door you know it's totally fine you can still go to your neighbor's house borrow their pc and catch up with the monkey dao town hall the next day uh every single session of the town hall is recorded so you can just simply go on to youtube and uh, catch up on the latest edition all right uh yes diamond hands so don't let the dog steal or eat your laptop all right, Monkey IRL events, as we highlighted as well, Island Dow is happening right now. And this week's agenda for um, Town Hall has a bunch of uh, big release and uh, big new chapters that we will welcome, which I'm super duper excited because it's truly impossible. Look over here. Okay, I I, I fell for that. Uh, it's truly impossible for us to you know, kind of organize every everything from the top down. And uh, it is never our mission to ever do that. And so later on, we'll share a lot of new updates with everybody. And I know a lot of folks here are, you know, pretty excited about it as well. So hope everyone else will, you know, find some joy in that, you know, new updates that we'll share. But uh, as we mentioned as well, the Founders Villa in uh, Dubai, anchored by the Super Team uh, UAE team, is ongoing right now uh, until 26 October. I know our amazing Simon will be coming back to Asia. It seems like at least I know that he hasn't had his uh, flights booked. But if you guys are planning to be in Island Dow, uh, you haven't been there yet and uh, you want to catch Simon, and there's still an opportunity to do so. Solana Founders Summit is also uh, something that happened two days ago or yesterday, actually. Solana Nomads, uh, Solana Hacker House Hong Kong. This is gearing up. Uh, this we will have an update later on as well. Solana Gens party. Wow, this is this is literally one of the most specific party ever. And I'm not calling out this because uh, this is uh, Degen related, uh, but just because this is literally such a specific group of audience. Um, and Bangkok DevCon is happening in November. There will be monkeys attending for business or pleasure uh, i'm not sure why this needed to be there but i just thought it would be good to highlight it for business or pleasure see you at the side events i i know that uh there's a couple of uh monkeys like omi omai who is thinking of being there so if you guys plan to be there feel free to go uh check it out Yes, um, Ben Bottle says, please promote Monkey Denver as we are co-hosting a meetup with uh, Solana Rado next Tuesday. Uh, if you are from Denver and you're part of this amazing community called Monkey Dao, uh, please ping Pat Ben Bottle and ask him to give you more deeds. And uh, Ben Bottle is about time for us to spin off the Monkey Dao Denver. Please make sure that the Monkey Dao Denver take off. Otherwise, you know, this will be... Uh, a uh, very very you know mini mini bearish uh you know collab that we will see but uh we are super excited to see that take off all right uh so on to our favorite section of the town hall uh newsletter this is the monkeys on twitter content if you guys are putting anything related to monkey uh don't forget to engagement farm your monkey family because that's kind of, uh, you know, one of the many utility of your NFT communities that you're part of. Of course, uh, being part of Monkey Dow as well. Um, feel free to go post your monkey PFP. Of course, some of you have, you know, more than one monkey. Uh, if you want, you can send it to myself. Otherwise, you can just post it on Twitter. All right. Uh, feel free to go check it out. A lot of very wholesome content, flexing of monkey merch. And uh, Sharp is looking really, really sharp. Uh, Pat has great content that he continues to feature. Oh me, oh my, did an amazing food so uh, game there. Uh, lots of amazing content. It's almost impossible to try to run through everything. But this is literally one of the favorite section of our newsletter every single week because it's so wholesome. Uh, seeing monkeys come together because people always think that hey, NFT communities are dead or like it's all about speculative stuff. But hey, what if we tell you that there are actually real humans behind the monkey JPEGs? Bet you didn't know about that. All right, so what exactly does the DAO offer? Monday Monkey Spotlight. This is a platform that we've came, uh, it's kind of like curated. 
for fellow monkey builders to be up there to talk a, li a little bit about anything and everything that they are working on. This week we have a solution fight. I know some of our amazing monkeys like Kip Haddle, uh and you know possibly Flox and a few other amazing monkeys are also part of the team. So shout out to them. Uh, if you guys are building anything interesting that you want to come up and share a little bit more, it's a great platform, not just for you to practice, you know, public speaking. Uh, that aside, of course, uh, it's also a great opportunity to share the wider community what exactly uh, it is about. All right. And um, there is also the Build with Monkey Dao grant program. Uh, feel free to go check it out. Uh, this is in collaboration with uh, Solana Foundation to help push the Solana ecosystem forward. And uh, hopefully we have even more updates to share with you. Uh, hint, hint, scroll about Solana Foundation. Let's see how that kind of uh, continues to take shape. Uh, but monkey music, super wholesome. You know, this week's Monkey Dao Spotify playlist. Uh, and you can contribute to it as well by submitting your favorite songs of the day. All right, Monkey Ventures, uh, that's the investment syndicate. All right, uh, on to marketplace that since this is October, let's give this a miss. Uh, for not very obvious reasons, uh, which I should not comment too much about. All right, so with that, this brings us towards the tail end of uh, 139th edition of newsletter. Shout out to the entire newsletter team for, you know, diligently coming together every single week, making this possible. All right. So let's move on to the next agenda item. Next up is the Hong Kong Hacker House Monkey Meetup. So as we highlighted in the newsletter earlier, the Hong Kong Hacker House is literally happening in less than two weeks. And there is a huge monkey base there or relatively decent sized monkey base there, including, you know, monkey OG like Mokens, you know, uh, Sammy and a few other amazing folks there. Um, so with that, uh, there is also approximately around like 20-ish, you know, monkeys in the group. Um, there is a Telegram group that is specifically uh, spun off for folks who are planning to be at the Hong Kong Hacker House. Let me send it here again. Oh yeah, Simon already did it. Amazing. Super quick. So if you plan to be in uh, Hong Kong for the Hacker House happening in le less than two weeks time, Please join up the Telegram group. Um, we are in the midst of uh, organizing a kind of a monkey lunch, monkey exclusive lunch. Uh, we just, you know, published a poll today. Please. So please put in your dates that you are likely going to be able to make it. I think right now we have uh, six or seven votes all together. Uh, it would be great if you plan to be in town and you are available on I one of these two days. Uh, you can just RSVP. Uh, we've deliberately avoided uh, 25th just to make sure that it doesn't clash with an existing event that we are already aware of. All right. So shout out to the Hong Kong monkeys and I believe, you know, Omi Omai, uh, who's the Singapore local ambassador, will also be in town uh, for the Hong Kong Hacker House and he'll help us anchor the lunch. And if there is any kind of issues uh, or you may need help with, feel free to let, um, you know, Omi know as well. All right. So hope you guys are excited. Hopefully through this Hong Kong Hacker House, we'll see the launch of a new chapter officially, although I've been made aware that um the hong kong monkey chapter already exists but it's a relatively outdated telegram group though it my monkeys also in that older telegram group so even if you're based in monkey this could be even better news for you we would love to get a new chapter started from there all right now all these chapters about chapters here chapters there uh, what is exciting is when we actually are able to come together and put together a new chapter and we can launch it and bring it to life. So without further delay, I want to bring up our amazing monkeys from Taiwan to share with us the launch of the Taiwan chapter and uh, some of their vision for it uh, and what they want to achieve with this Taiwan chapter as well as the very, very first Taiwan monkey meetup happening really, really soon. All right, I'm going to bring up Paddy, uh, which is Briggs, apparently. Uh, he just decided to adopt a new name. And uh, let me find CJ in the audience as well. CJ, could you tag me? I would love to bring you up. And then very quickly, yes. Okay, I see you right now. 
All right. So, Briggs, get us started. Tell us a little bit more. And uh, we have Alan and CJ on the stage as well. Let us know everything about Taiwan Chapter and what it is going to be about. Okay. So, um, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Jemmy. Uh, first of all, I would really like to thank Stroll because uh, it was in a slightly tipsy conversation with him where we decided to to sort of foment this idea. And of course, I would like to thank uh, Alan and CJ who have been coordinating uh, with me and with all the other uh, mon monkeys in Taiwan to form uh, this chapter. Basically, we were inspired at Breakpoint this year at how many monkeys showed up and uh, how really put well put together all the events were. So when we got back to Taiwan, we really put this together with haste. So putting this together with haste included giving out a few monkeys from our personal stashes. So I would like to thank Alan and CJ again for their sacrifice. But I am also proud to announce that this means we've onboarded over five more monkeys into the DAO. So if you notice them trickling in over the next few weeks and days, uh, days and weeks rather, please give them a warm welcome. Also very proud to announce that next Tuesday, or rather this coming Tuesday, the, uh, I think, 15th of October, I don't have my dates straight, but uh, I believe the 15th of October will be the first official monkey meetup. And um, I am praying, but I also know that there will be more than 10 monkeys who will be showing up. And uh, this includes some prominent dev figures, a couple of other blockchain founders, a couple of big projects on Sui, and potentially also the founder of uh, Zeus Protocol, as well as myself, Alan, and uh, CJ ourselves. And it will be hosted at a rather traditional sort of, uh, it's called a Kuai Cao Dian, which is basically just a, an upgraded version of uh, street food in, in Taiwan. And we're very happy to announce that this will be happening on Tuesday, and we look forward to seeing everyone there. But a final quick thing is uh, the Monkey Dao Taiwan official Twitter has been created, and uh, I have been linking it in the chat as often as I can. I hope that uh, Jemmy or Stroll or someone or Simon will be able to put it in minor announcements, and I would really appreciate if you'd all come and give it a follow. We currently have 22 followers. There's 82 people in the audience, so I am expecting an extra 60 followers by the end of this space. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for giving me the time to tell you guys about it. I don't know if Alan or CJ have anything to add, but uh, thank you so much again, and we look forward to uh, developing uh, this chapter into something great. All right, thank you, Patty. Really appreciate that. Uh, Alan, CJ, uh, just want to make sure that uh, we bring up the stage at least to say hi as well, because uh, this is made possible with the three of your efforts especially. Okay, Alan, do you want to go first or me? Uh, you can go first. All right, all right. Hi, thank you so much, Patty, for the nice introduction. And thank you so much, uh, Jamie, for the town hall. And uh, actually, I'm very excited to, you know, to initiate this uh, Monkey Dot Taiwan together with Patty and uh, Alan, two, the two very passionate monkeys, very, very active. And, you know, they're great guys. So basically, uh, what we what we are going to do in Taiwan is like uh, we'll try to build a strong monkey community in Taiwan, connecting with monkey around the world. So we're hosting our first meeting, as Patty just said, next Tuesday. And we also want to welcome any monkey visiting Taiwan around the world and do our best to hold you while you're here. So let us know if you visit Taiwan, and you know we'll try our best to take you to the best Taiwanese street food altogether. Thank you very much. All right, this is amazing. Thank you so much, CJ. Uh, now, if you are wondering what is the additional perk of being a monkey, your monkey is literally a passport to the global world. And, uh, you know, CJ just literally proved that point right. Uh, Alan, let's bring up the stage to say hi as well. Hey, GN, GN. Thank you, Jenny, for the introduction. And uh, actually, uh, I really exciting for the uh, like, uh, monkey chapter in Taiwan because uh, you know, uh, at the end of this year, we all also have like uh, Tai Taipei Blockchain Week. So I really can't wait to like uh, meet out all of the monkeys in Taiwan and can't wait uh, everyone to join us next Tuesday. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. If I, may, if I may add something really quickly, yes, uh, the, 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 the vision that we have also eventually will culminate in an attempt 
to formulate a uh, super DAO Taiwan. And I, I must give a, a shout out to a uh, super team Taiwan rather. And I must give a shout out to uh, Maria from uh, super team Balkans who inspired us to really set us down this path. And I mean, we don't know if it'll come together, but if it does know that monkeys will then have a dev base and a home in Taiwan for as long as well forever. And we hope to be able to welcome you all here uh, well into the foreseeable future. And as CJ said, if anyone is ever in Taiwan, um, ping us, shout us out, ping us on Telegram, DM us. Uh, we'll be very happy to show you around. All right. Thank you. This is super amazing. And we're so excited to officially kickstart the Monkey Doll Taiwan chapter. So shout out to, you know, Patty, Alan, as well as CJ once again for making this possible. Well, it's going to be really about time soon that we have to update the list of uh, official Monkey Down chapters and the list of Telegram links as well as any, you know, official Twitter pages, etc. Uh, with the kind of like pace that we are going. Now, Briggs also very kindly mentioned, you know, about Stroh's involvement. And I just want to quickly highlight as well. Uh, ever since Stroh kind of helped us, uh, you know, take over the uh, local chapters as well, uh, you know, in the short few months uh he has definitely been ramping up a lot of the efforts here and we have since uh seen at least three to four new chapters be, uh, getting uh, spun off so with that i want to bring up stro up to the town hall today to share with us a little bit of alpha around a few more chapters that are still brewing maybe not quite uh, ready to announce yet uh, but you know it's still in the process of being put together and so, without further delay, please take over the stage. GM, GM, monkeys, as you get, are you guys doing? So, Jamie, do you want do you want me to share the the Q one twenty five alpha, or just ah, the... no, 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 not not that yet. The local <laughs> chapters only. <laughs> okay, Don't tell okay. Them yet. <laughs> okay, so not Q one twenty five alpha. Okay. So let's start to announcing our, uh, I think it's 14 local chapter, which is Hungary. And uh, I would like to call on stage, uh, it's Van, uh, that's all. Sorry if I pronounce it right, maybe you can correct me. But uh, please, Jamie, if you can bring to stage uh, it's Van, it will, be, it will be very nice. So he can talk about uh, the... Hungary local chapter, which is the 14 local chapter, Monkey Dao local chapter. All right, sounds good. Uh, Isvan, can you help us by just uh, commenting in the town hall text chat chat? We'd love to bring you up. Okay, I see you now. Thank you so much. GM, GM. Isvan, the stage is yours. Yes, feel free. Hello, GM, GM. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Firstly, thank you for, for the welcome. Thank you so for the opportunity. Uh, I will try to introduce myself just in a few words because I'm quite a new monkey here. So not many of you know me. Uh, my name is Istvan from Budapest. Uh, I'm a university student working full time in Repti for three years now, mainly with BSL, but I joined Monke, Monke Dao a couple months ago. So I'm quite new, as I said. But luckily, I was able to meet meet up with a lot of you during Breakpoint in Singapore. Um, actually, played in the Monka football team as well. We took the win home. <laughs> it was a, it was the whole week. It was an awesome experience. So, just want to quickly thank you guys for all the side events, for the Monkey Hotel, for all the organization. It was it was perfect. So, hopefully, hopefully we can do it again in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, next year. Anyways. Um, I am really excited about uh, onboarding more monkeys from Hungary. We have an NFT community which has been forming for three years now. I can proudly say that we had a significant activity when during the beer market. We hosted several ERL meetups as well. So we have experience in this. And uh, a couple months ago, uh, me and my friends, who are also fellow monkeys, some of them are here, Avescu, Benny and Gary, we decided to take a step forward and uh, take our community community to the next level. Uh, and we decided to rebrand our community to Solana Hungary, which was mainly inspired by the super team. I'm sure you guys have heard about them. 
Also, shout out to our neighbors for all the support and help for the Balkan Super Team to Solana Romania. They have a lot and inspired us uh, through this whole process. So yeah, so we started to focus more on the IRL events and this whole onboarding side to the Web3, to the Solana ecosystem. And then we first heard about the local monkey chapters, which is, I think, an awesome initiative. Uh, we were like, that's exactly what, what we need. Uh, that's what NFT communities should be really about, like meetups, networking, having fun together, sh showing the exclusivity of being uh, a monkey, uh, an NFT holder. So yeah, we were 100% 100% sure that that we need to host one in Hungary, and uh, since we knew that I, we have like 10 plus holders already in our Discord, which is was the minimum requirement. Uh, already we onboarded more than five new monkeys when we started to leak the alpha about the local chapter. They were like, they felt FOMO and they didn't want to miss out. So yeah, five more monkeys uh, onboarded this week. And we haven't even shared any more details about our event yet. So yeah, um, we are really excited about this one since the local monkey chapter will be our first IRL event at Solan Hungary, which we are planning to host during the first weeks of November, we have already more than 50 monkeys, as I said, interested. And uh, some of the community members said that they will, they don't want to miss out. So probably they will buy in in the next couple of weeks. So it would be a pleasure if you guys will be welcoming them. Um, so yeah, about about the event, we will try to set the bar really high, planning to get gift packs for the holders, maybe some sort of sports activities with a dinner afterwards. But yeah, um, really excited to share more about it later and show the pictures for you and everything. And uh, as I said, thank you, thank you, Stor Stroll, for the for the event, to getting up uh, here and uh, for everything. So yeah, and just a quick: if if there are any Hungarian monkeys here who haven't heard about us or not in our community yet, then please feel free to send me a DM so you don't miss out. And if any of monkeys from around the world just traveling to Budapest, just just DM me and let's connect and maybe we can have just a dinner, try our try our food or anything, just just network. We are open for everything. So yeah, just feel free to DM us. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I think from me. And looking forward to onboard more people to Monkey Dao. And thank you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Itzvan. Uh, thank you for uh, all the Hungarian monkey. As well, I want to also say thank you to OX Benny, which is also help us setting up the Budapest local chapter. I'm sure you're gonna planning lots of events all year around. Also, I want to announce the 15 local chapter, which is a Philippine local chapter. We still are discussing the day of event of the ambassador, so we will probably leave it for, um, we are going to announce it, the ambassador and the date of event next week. After uh, the local ambassador, we can talk about the Singapore chapter on the field. Jamie, if you want to start uh, talking about uh, your experience uh, playing football and scoring during the, the football game. Uh, feel free to do it as well if Omi or Ben are here feel free to join the stage and talk about this amazing experience of bringing monkey together and playing and playing football which is fun all right thank you Sro. uh yes so shout out to the Singapore chapter not because uh, I am part of the Singapore chapter uh, I guarantee you and I give you my assurance that I am 100% not biased at all uh, although clearly I am very, very biased, uh, but Singapore chapter is also literally the largest chapter that we have. Can you believe after restructuring the entire telegram to make sure that we purged out all the lurkers and, you know, kind of like inactive members. Today, we still have 109 members in the Singapore Monkeys chapter. And this is all, you know, very recently, you know, kind of put together and uh, reorganized. So, you know, Singapore Monkeys is literally one of the proudest movement that we've put together uh, to date. 
and uh, we are very excited to be able to continue doing a little bit more experiment with that um, and kind of a new concept we are, we are trying to pioneer as we kind of like double down on the new narrative of Monkey Dow being the premier Web3 country club. We are trying to test out, you know, what if there is a new concept called a mobile country club. And uh, that means that, you know, the activities that we organize does not have to be limited to just a, you know, lunches, dinners or drinks, etc. Of You know, where you talk to people in a little bit of a tipsy environment or whatnot. But uh, also about the well-being of members and a little bit more wholesome activities. And with that, you know, we have started doing some form of experiment on what they, that may be like. Uh, this was the first, you know, iterative of the kind of like a little bit more wholesome activities that we are putting out for the Singapore chapters. Uh, as this was a pretty, you know, decent take up rate one, I think we have like, you know, over 20 folks that turn out for the soccer event specifically, uh, which is, you know, pretty much two times more than what uh, the field allows for of like 10 individuals at any one time. Um, this was a really fun one, I think, uh, for everyone at Tanawa especially, you know, to be able to, you know, kind of see individuals or ex kind of experience the, the bond that, you know, you share with your fellow monkeys over playing sports is just a whole new level. Uh, and yes, uh, the last time I actually touched a uh, ball sports was at least 10 years ago. And I just had to be there because, uh, you know, I mean, who, if you are not there for the Singapore chapter, then what exactly are you doing? Now, but of course, Cersei is right. If I can choose one spot that uh, I can just make all the monkeys do together, it will literally be running a marathon. So just watch out. If you ever move to Singapore chapter, you are not safe from that. So, uh, Stro, passing back to you, this was the launch of the Singapore chapter on the Fuse, and I expect to see a little bit more wholesome activities upcoming for the different chapters. It would not just have to be about, you know, meals anymore. There will be more interesting activities that we're going to work with the local ambassadors to bring to life. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jeremy, to share all your experience about the Singapore chapter on the field. <laughs> Someone is also selling your, uh, Solus is selling your picture on the chat. So, okay. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Okay, so the starting bid for Jeremy Fitpick uh, fit is one soul. Uh, is, someone, is someone willing to pay two soul for Jeremy Fitpick? But let's be serious and uh, let's be serious and talk about the breakpoint survey. As uh, we all know, like it's almost one month since uh, breakpoint, uh, three weeks more or less. And like we are trying like to gather as much as information to make the monkey DAO in real life events uh, and experience the best uh, the best in the world. Like we already are the best in Web3, we are trying to be the best of the best. So if you are kind of like we are like there are 84 monkeys here. If you yeah. haven't do it, please uh, do the survey. And if you've been to breakpoint, please fill up the survey. I know it's kind of long, but it only takes like uh, three to four minutes and it will help us uh, uh, a lot uh, improving the experience uh, of Monkey Dao and as well as organizing the future event. So far we have got like 40s, 40s and we are planning 40s, uh, four, like we have 40 points and we are planning to have at least 20, like uh, to have at least 50 to 60. So please fill up the form because uh, Jamie and I, but as well as all the exact team, we're planning something very, 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 very big for Q125, and we need and we need like we need to get a lot of uh, a lot of responses. If we want to make every monkey every monkey happy. That's why please fill up the survey. I know I will be a little bit spammy between Telegram, Discord, and everything, but it's important that you guys fill up the form because we want, like, we want to have, like, the, we want you guys to have the best experience and to have the best experience. We need to know what you guys uh, want, and that's all. 
please fill up the survey. If you guys are not doing it, I will tag everyone plenty of time and Simon will be very mad at me. So please don't make me tag everyone and, uh, and fill up the form. Okay, Jamie, uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a good rest of the, have a good rest of the week, of the, of the week and enjoy. Bye bye. All right, thank you, Stroll. Uh, and apologies, I got a little bit distracted, and I guess I uh, deleted my message. <laughs> All right, jokes aside, this was a lot of fun, definitely. And um, I want to bring up Cersei as usual. Every week isn't really complete if we don't bring up the Alpha Master or the Alpha Overseer to share with us some of the latest opportunities or cool partnerships that could be lined up that monkeys can potentially participate. All right, so see, feel free to unmute uh, yourself, come up to the stage, and uh, we will tag the channel. Hello, everybody. Um, so this is for the gamers out there. Previously, we used to have a monkey play channel, but it is kind of it, it kind of slowed down. So we wanna we wanna gather all these gamers again and to start off with a Counter Strike tournament that. We will be we will be playing with other communities. Yes, monkey, monkey dolls. Yes, go tournament. So, yes, uh, we will open for signups really, really soon. And yeah, just keep a lookout for it. Just want to give you guys the first alpha. So when the sign up comes out, we can really, we can really um get the number of people, get the number of people. Uh, in the game, y'all are boomers. Yeah, dude, CS:GO used to be paid, and now it's freaking free. I quit when I made it free. That's not fair, but yes, <laughs> CS:GO is on. So we wanna also open up this monkey play channel as um some of some of these partnerships that we have are very are very focused on gaming. So now that we have this streamlined. Um, streamline ways of distributing partnerships. We are able to to distribute these um opportunities to more um dedicated communities, and we don't um and ultimately the secret is just we don't want to make announcements of people. Don't hear me for it, but yes, please pay attention to this, especially if you're a gamer, and we will we will get you soon. That's all. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. We really appreciate that uh, you heard it. We are giving out free shoes in CSGO. Uh, and if you believe me, you probably did not play CSGO before. <laughs> All right, just kidding. Um, so there is indeed the channel. Uh, <laughs> Fox, that's the idea. That is the idea. Uh, so as we highlighted earlier, there's the Monkey Play channel. <laughs> Please uh, feel free to go check it out if you are interested. Uh, next week, we will have the tournament organizer uh, come up and share with us a little bit more information around how to get organized. But uh, it's time to get ready. Time to round up your monkey gamers. Uh, time to get all your ammunition uh, in line so that you know who you can uh, feel to be part of this tournament because we don't accept anything other than a champion uh, that you will bring back in the name of uh, Monkey Dao. All right? uh so that is the partnership shout out that we have lined up uh next up we want to quickly talk a little bit about the monkey ventures membership application um so if you guys are aware actually the monkey ventures syndicate itself is a investment syndicate extension of monkey dao uh the team that runs it do not provide any form of financial advice uh there are a couple of core contributors for monkey ventures including uh puppy chulo uh radian as well as uh, jp alongside myself uh the four of us we help to organize um the monkey ventures uh, collective uh, the role of us largely involves around the organization and administration work of it. Uh, none of our roles are basically a, related to offering any form of financial advice. And this has been the case since day zero and uh, it continues to be the case. That is the reason why every single deal is structured, you know, through a syndicate banner whereby every individual can choose to participate in a certain deal or not. And there is no compulsory process. And yes, Simon basically uh, slide this picture in, I guess. I totally was caught a little bit off guard, but uh, I guess it's appropriate after all. Now, um, all along, the application process has always involved, you know, filling up an app, uh, the Google form, 
the reason why we do that is so that you know individuals are aware of the risk that may be associated with uh, early stage investments. Uh, so if you guys are interested to join the Monkey Ventures Collective, there is the Google form, which you can easily access through the command exclamation mark Monkey Ventures. So feel free to go check it out and uh, make sure to, you know, set up your metrica before you do that. And um, there is also the requirement previously for you to allow DM from uh, either myself or Braden. But uh, I think we may need to update the command here the process will be switched up instead of you know having uh you write us a message uh instead we'll require you to write papi chulo a message directly uh once you fill up the form you can write papi chulo a message on telegram he will then you know verify your, your application that you have submitted once you are done uh once that is done uh you can basically uh get access to the monkey ventures discord straight away all right, so that is the latest update we want to share with you. It will no longer involve uh, sending a friend request because we realized that this may not be the most efficient and uh, it always resulted in us, you know, missing a couple of monkeys and a lot of folks sometimes they end up applying, you know, like months ago and they haven't heard back because, you know, maybe the friend request just got ditched to the spam box or for whatsoever reason, security concerns especially, uh, it just never ever get through. All right um so that is the update we want to share with you so just remember still apply via the google form but once you're finished applying please write puppy uh puppy message via telegram and then we will have the discord link sent to you via telegram as well all right so that is the update on monkey ventures and uh before we move on to the most exciting section of the town hall this week uh want to do a quick shout out for any new monkeys that may be in the room who may want to come up and say hi or say a couple of words if you are a new monkey like uh some of us here are uh feel free to tag us uh i know no meta Matt is also new uh we'll send you an invite uh, if you are new or if you haven't had the opportunity to join us for the last couple of weeks uh, this is the opportunity for you to come up and say hi. Feel free to share with us a quick intro of yourself uh, and let us know what you do in battery, how you got involved um, in either the web tree space or you know what brought you to Monkey Down. And you know, feel free to drop your Twitter handle here as well. Yes, there are many, many new or fake new monkeys, but uh, you know what? Meta Matt is a real one. So without further delay, Meta Matt, welcome to the family. Excited to have you here. Very nice to be here. <laughs> Yo, thanks. Uh, <laughs> wasn't uh, wasn't expecting this. So yeah, just to say hi, uh, Meta Matt, real world Matt. You know, not too much difference. Uh, I'm in the the governance and uh, I'm in the governance space. Been involved with Web three and DAOs for about four to five years now, and um, also run a Web two company that does digital democracy with. Uh, local municipalities and federal governments and bridging between those two worlds. And I uh, joined Monkey Dow as I started integrating with uh, Super Teams Canada and, uh, you know, more and more moving out from behind the screen into real life and building, you know, building networks. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And uh, I know you guys have an advanced governance system and gone through lots of governance processes and discussions and challenges and growth. So, I'm excited to plug in and just uh, be a part of building and hanging with you guys. All right, welcome to the family. Super excited to have you here. Uh, another amazing, talented monkey that we have up in the ranks of Monkey Dao. Welcome to the family once again. Excited to have you. Feel free to let us know. And I'm sure you have uh, Moon and Super Simon very close to you. So I'm sure you'll get all the help that you need. But uh, if you can be helpful in any way, feel free to let us know. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And the last thing is we just, uh, you know, I forgot to even say my Solana thing is a uh, co-founder of Future and we just submitted uh, a governance project for the Radar Hackathon, which is, uh, you know, worked heavily at the Super Teams build station. And that's how I came across monkeys in the first place. So um, sorry for that last little pitch, but I uh, just wanted to share that because that's important. <laughs> All right, monkeys, you heard it. Monkey builders in the house. Uh, so feel free to drop any details of it so that we can uh, help, you know, drive some attention to it as well. Please give Meta Matt your fullest support uh, as he continues to ship new amazing things onto Solana. 
All right. Are there any more new monkeys before we pass the time to Moon Settler, who rigs the barrel raffle anyway? So we already know the results. I already have the list of five names. The list of five names include myself, 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 and myself. But if there are new monkeys before we release it, uh, do let me know. We'd love to bring you up. All right. It seems like there are no more new monkeys uh, for this week. Uh, I know one of you uh, DM us to say that you're not available to come out and speak today. That's totally fine, uh, as we highlighted as well. Uh, Town Hall takes place every Friday, so there's always the opportunity for you to come out and say hi. All right, so Moon, I guess this is now the time for you to announce the five winners, the, the, the five names that I just announced, which includes myself. So feel free to take over the stage. All right, GM, GM, I hope everybody can hear me well. Um, hopefully the internet holds up this time. I'm back at my hotel, so hopefully uh, we got a good run, a good run here. Um, I will go ahead and share my screen here. I don't know if you guys can actually hear me or not. Um, okay, yeah, all good. Before I get started, uh, just a quick call out. Um, if any of you are an artist or know any monkey artists, please send me a DM. I have a commission request I've been trying to follow up on for a little while. So um, if you are an artist or know another monkey artist, please send me a DM. Um, I have something pretty interesting I'd like to talk to you about. All right, that's that for that. Uh, Super Simon, if you can stop sharing your screen, I will go ahead and share my screen um, so that we can go through this week's barrel raffles and hopefully everything works well. Once again, this week, uh, screen appears a little small. I'm still on my laptop over in Thailand, having an amazing time onboarding a bunch of new monkeys as well. So that's been really awesome. Um, there's a ton of monkeys out here um island out is dominated by monkeys as well really cool to see so yeah it's been a lot of fun anyways enough of that we'll go ahead and start shuffling for the first winner for this week let's go ahead and spin first up number one barrel raffle for this week is who do we got here well, the name can't see it there. Local Sad Boy 6189. So that's the first winner for this week. We'll go ahead and shuffle. Second winner for this week. If that person is not in here, um, we'll double check to make sure that it's legit and not an alt account. So some, some of y'all keep creating alts that I can tell our alts which kind of sucks but anyways we'll find that it's not an alt account but second winner is idle jack um let's go ahead and shuffle for the third winner for this week third up for this week we have dewey kang so that's the third winner for this week Let's go ahead and shuffle and pick fourth winner for this week. Fourth up for this week is Rex Black. Congratulations, Rex Black. You won another barrel. All right, and last shuffle for the fifth and final winner for this week's barrel raffle, which is going to be... Let's see who we got. Dr. Blue Chip. So the five winners for this week's barrel raffle are... We'll double check also the first few names. But anyways, it's Local Sad Boy, Idle Jack, Duy Kang, Rex Black, and Dr. Blue Chip. Those are the five winners for this week's barrel raffle. If you didn't win this week, uh, better luck next week. For those other names that we are unsure about, we'll double check uh, tomorrow morning my time. Other than that, we'll have the next raffles up uh, here over this weekend. So other than that, hopefully you all enjoy that draw. I'm going to stop streaming and back over to you, Jemmy. All right. Thanks again, uh, Moon Settler. And uh, if you have, are not already aware, this week, the barrel raffle ticket once again swapped very, very quickly, uh, as we highlighted last week as well. If you really want to, you know, seize the opportunity and ensure that you get hold of your barrel raffle ticket, it's best to check it latest, latest by midweek, 
because if you are like me checking at the very last minute you know an hour before town hall starts you are most likely not going to make the card for the barrel raffle ticket all right uh you will still win <laughs> that's how rigged it is nice okay super interesting uh gotcha all right so once again you know appreciate everyone taking time out of your precious friday to join us uh this week you know continues to be an amazing time hanging out with fellow monkeys and we're so excited to see the many updates uh some that we have announced some that we are still cooking in the process some that we just can't share for whatsoever reasons those are but in any case uh the weekends are here as they say october is here we still have around 20 days or so till october ends. so let's see if this comes through in any case remember to touch grass send some hearts to your loved ones uh, and spend time out of the discord all right it's time to send a pump it up vibes let's go you got to pump it up don't you know pump it up you got to pump it up don't you know pump it up you got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't